There isn't anyone in Martin County who needs it who can't get very, very good medical care. And the people like you who volunteer and who devote so much time and energy and money are what keeps us going. And the need grows every year. In this economy, people are losing their jobs. More and more of them don't have benefits. And if it weren't for us, their health wouldn't be taken care of. Volunteers in Medicine is a unique organization. It's a unique nonprofit, a charitable organization that provides so much care to so many people in Martin County. Um, all of the working poor have Volunteers in Medicine as an eligibility. And when I looked at that and I saw how many dollars of time and, and, uh, and effort were going into Volunteers in Medicine uh, by the professional community, I was astounded, and as a result, I thought, what better charity could there be to, to give my time and talent to? You know, as, as Dr. Glass said, I can't think of another charity, another organization uh, that is able to uh, leverage its, not just its money, but its, its talents and its abilities the way that uh, Volunteers in Medicine has done. Uh, Paula, I'm very proud of her as a board member. Uh, uh, for Volunteers in Medicine. It, it's a charity that we both embrace and although I can't spend quite the amount of time that Paula is able to, it's, it's one that's very dear to my heart as well. Thank you. You all give to the event your hearts and souls because you know exactly what Dr. Glass and Paul said. There isn't a better charity in the country and there isn't anything that is more important for our county and our city right now as taking care of the poor and the working poor and those who just have had the rug pulled out from underneath them. For 98 cents of every dollar you give us goes directly to patient programs and that is really unusual. So we thank you all for being here. We hope that you will not only continue to do that, but bring more people in. We can always use volunteers. Wherever you go, tell them about volunteers in medicine and what we can do for them and what they can do for us. And thank you again for being here. It's so nice to talk to all of you.